right, so I, I know I said I was going to do um, Deliverator on Netflix that just came out recently. Um, I, I tried watching a bit, a little of it, and it's just I couldn't get into it. Uh, I, it's one of those things that I'll have to go into and, uh, you know, try again. It's it's just that it's it's a little hard for me to to get through to uh, something new. Uh, the new being the, the artwork of it. I'm not necessarily a fan of cartoons in general, type movies, even if they're made for, um, adults. Uh, I, I usually, I, The Killing Joke was good. I still liked it, but it's not compared to, uh, like, a, a enjoyment-wise of, uh, of a, a life film. Um, it's just something new. And then you got the, the, you know, on top of that, it's just like some sort of, uh, a different type of uh, of uh, filter, I guess you could say it was. Um, but yeah, I'll try eventually to get back into it within a week, it, within this week. Um, but no guarantees, because it, it's kind of like a TV show. It's four hours, so because uh, it's hour per hour, and there's only four episodes for some reason. Um, but anyways, you you came here to uh, my review of American Assassins, not what what I'm going to be watching maybe later on and maybe why blah 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 so this came out in 2017 i my parent my mom and my um stepdad have told me about this last year and the year before a bunch of times and i've heard i've seen the trailer for this back when i watched tyrone magnus um i don't anymore um, and i don't remember what he said i think it was probably negative that's probably one that's one of the reasons why i stopped watching him um, yeah, so I, I it's kind of just been amazing that I finally got around to watching this. Um, if you don't, if you don't know, or maybe you forgot to refresh your memory, the stars, um, Dylan O'Brien and Michael Keaton. Uh, the plot of this pretty much is, is O'Brien's character, uh, uh, fiance gets murdered by middle eastern people i guess i I'm, they're obviously middle um muslim so but i don't know exactly where this is so i don't know if it's actually in the middle east because i know there's muslims everywhere El a lot of other places too naturally like russia and you know all that stuff hawking or whatever I want i really don't care um because i just don't really care about religion that much so um, it's not a big deal. I don't hate, hate them every way. I uh, hate religious people either way. Lungs are not the, the hateful type, you know, but I won't get into that. Um, yeah, and then he goes on re this uh, revenge on to killing him. He, he uh, focuses, like, obsessively on to trying to kill the guy that, in the whole uh, cell of, uh, of uh, the terrorists to do that. And then... The CIA have been watching him, and they uh, they recruit him for some reason without training. Um, there's actually a CIA ex-director that was on a wire or something. It was one of the channels that talks about uh, spy stuff, and then they have other categories and stuff of uh, of uh, professionals to picking out the stuff. And but even though even if they like the movie or not, uh, somewhere on YouTube there's like a couple different channels. Um, I, I watch them a lot. Um, this is this is about two hours long, and um, honestly, um, I can't say if it was boring or not because honestly, I even right now uh, I'm uh, really tired, so it's kind of hard to me to fully get invested into the uh, action sequences of it. You know, the 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 adrenaline type of thing when you watch a really good movie. Um, but from what I can can give you is. Honestly, I really care for Dalen's character. I I really didn't. I mean, um, or is it Brian? Yeah, it's Dylan. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for that pause. Um, yeah, I I just couldn't really get into him. He was a cool. He had a ton of nonstop cool fight scenes. I'll I'll definitely say that I enjoyed those. But his personality for his character was a bit bland to me. I didn't really you know like him uh, that much. Um, I, he, he's in the middle for me. I, I you know I couldn't really get into his character. 
Um, and then I could, I didn't flat out like the the acting from T Taylor Skizik. Um, he's he's known as Gambit or John Connor. I, I've never seen John Carter. I never knew what the hell that was, and even when it came out, and I heard bad reviews of it, I don't know. It just never really interests me, and it's Disney. So, you know, with action films, it's kind of um, questionable. Um, especially with that type of uh, area of film, I guess. It's kind of like barbarians and stuff. Um, my boy, Scott. Uh, Scott Atkins. Now... I really didn't like him up until I've been watching a lot of his movies. And um, he's usually in B-movies or when he's in good-sized movies, he's usually a side character. I think the most biggest one he's been in is uh, a Marvel film. Uh, Doctor, not Doctor Who, obviously. Uh, Doctor Strange what it is what it is. Um, I, I, you know, he had a small part. I didn't even know he was in that. Uh, at all, you know, that's just how, you know, his small part is. I, 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 I've said before, I think he has a good acting skill. He needs to be more propped up a little more to give more of, uh, of a chance to prove himself. Um, he is a martial artist, so they kind of focus on that, but you know, then, then they do that with J uh, Jet Li and, um, Jackie Chan and all that. And I forgot the other league I heard it whatever um yeah but that's in, that's just my opinion um i you could think of different he can go either way i i feel like they needed to put more of him in here uh give him more of a dialogue honestly i would have preferred to see him in this more than i would have seen um o'brien um uh, but definitely something that really takes away from uh, out of all the acting in here, it's obviously M Michael Keaton. Um, I honestly don't remember at all other than Batman what he's been in. So I can't really say that he's been in action, uh, like a full-on action star. But these days, from the way he looks, because he's definitely aged to the point where, in my opinion, he looks more uh, like some, some sort of badass. Um, I, I wish he would have had uh, a lot more of scenes than O'Brien, and Brian wasn't in here, um, but he did make the movie. But I feel like this, I, I want to see him more, um, you know, kicking ass and stuff. I know he's old, he's like, what, in his 50s or something? Um, it, it doesn't matter, uh, you know, it's like you got stunt doubles and stuff, so I know people try to argue with the older er characters of... Uh, trying to bring him back and even the batman one i seen on there when they're because they're bringing back keaton and some other batman uh to go with uh like this multiverse of this new film anyways um the cgi in here was definitely well you know it was doable up into some parts where it was way more into the um in the scenes because it was normally just the blood, blood splatter and it's shooting from them and the hitting it was a bit uh here and there um it was decent it wasn't bad it wasn't good though um but there was definitely a when it comes to the ships and stuff they maybe i'll pull up a picture and you can see it uh but it, it just wasn't for it just it was just, it was kind of for what the movie was for the type of movie it was, uh, budget-wise and whatnot, um, I, I was, it was definitely disappointing. Um, they should have had a bigger, did a better job. Um, the whole movie was, was, was entertaining for the most part, but that whole nuke scene was pretty laughable. Um, I'm no physic, I think that's what it is, uh, nuclear physics, um, um, yeah, I mean, I'm no none of that, but I'm pretty sure that's pretty Hollywood right there, like extremely Hollywood, and that's saying much for Hollywood, because uh, they do they like to make things over dramatic. That thing was wholly dramatic, and it was just pretty laughable. And the first part where it blows up, but then underwater and it sucks. And I have never seen that, and I I seen real videos of uh of nukes that have been documented on uh by military especially the u.s and they show them in the water 
of uh, blown up. Yeah, it initially goes up with a ripple effect. It doesn't like suck down and do that and then pop back up and then shove stuff. Cause, stuff. Cause there's a whole bunch of physics there. But that's just, I guess you'd call it nitpicking, but it's definitely a, something to point out because it was definitely way dramatized. Um, yeah, I did like the ending how it ended though, um, where he was in the elevator and um, you know, he, he had a different personality. His, uh, again, it wasn't that much because it only showed a split second. Um, but where would I give this movie? I, I, I would give this five, four out of five battle axes. Let me know in the comments what you thought of this movie. Are you shocked that it took me this long to watch it? Because this came out in 2017. It's 2020 and almost 2021. Uh, I hope you're all staying healthy and your family's staying healthy. And I love you all. Um, yeah. Uh, see you Wednesday, hopefully, with something out. I think there's some new videos coming out. Uh, I don't know. Anyways, love you all. Skull.